Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got my Sephora VIB sale haul part two. If you guys watched my live stream from last week, I think I mentioned that I was going to be placing another order, or maybe I mentioned it in my Will I Buy It live stream, which was this past Sunday. In any case, I placed an additional two orders, which just arrived, so I thought I would do an unboxing for you. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up at the Sephora VIB sale, then just keep on watching. So if you watched my last week's live stream where I unboxed my first order, first couple of orders from the sale, you saw that they, they being Sephora, forgot to actually put in one of the items that I ordered, and that was the Surratt eyeshadow that I ordered. And I got it in the Noir, Le Plus Noir. It's basically like the matte black. I've already uh, magnetized it and put it into my Adept Cosmetics palette here so let me just show you what the shade looks like this is so unexciting because it literally is just a matte black and let me just swatch it for you it's really 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 charcoaly finish and here is a swatch great great black so I'm excited to have that in my Surratt shadow collection let me just hold up my palette now now it is complete with this shadow in here, so I'm very happy, and it felt like it was missing a shadow of this color. So I'm happy to have like an even number of shadows in my palette now, because that one missing square was like really, really making me nuts. Let's get into these boxes. We're gonna do a smaller one first. So exciting. Do you guys like opening boxes as much as I do? So, this was a completely unplanned purchase because I didn't know when this item was actually going to be released. Uh, but this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Comes in the Hourglass brown colored box. And here is the packaging. Very nice. This is like a frosted plastic. Again, with like the Hourglass brown metallic finish top. And let's see what it looks like on the inside. Here is the gold metal sifter with H-shaped dots in the sifter. I think that's pretty cool. It has a sticker over it. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. But I'm definitely gonna give this a shot and probably do like an all day wear test with this powder. So um, keep an eye out for that. I will try and do that soon. And I also saw that their retouching fluid it looks like a concealer, but they're kind of marketing it as a retouching fluid, I believe is what it's called. That became available on Sephora, I think like over the weekend, and I meant to place an order yesterday, which was the last day of the sale. Completely forgot. So I am curious to pick that up, but I do want to see some reviews on it first. I also want to see some swatches, because I didn't know which shade to get, and I couldn't really find any swatches online yet, I guess because it's too new. So I may be picking up that product as well. All right, here is the bigger box, and I guess I started to feel a little bit of like FOMO at the end of this sale because at the beginning and even before the sale, I was like, there's nothing really I'm dying for, there's nothing really I need, I don't really care, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then when the second week rolled around for the sale for the VIB Rouge members, I was like, you know what, just get stuff that you've been wanting to get. It's 15% off, which, you know, isn't huge, but it's something. So yeah, I ended up getting quite a few more things. So, I don't know what got into me. <laughs> Does this happen to you when you shop a sale? It's like, yeah, yeah, let me get that. I've been wanting that. And I'm like, really? Have I really been wanting that? So, I purchased the uh, T3 um, convertible base. This is the base where you can put like curling iron uh, tops into. And then I picked up the T3 1.5 straight barrel, which goes onto this. Uh, base. So um, you could buy this base with three different tops for like 200 something dollars. I just, I knew I wouldn't use any of the other um, barrels on there. So I decided just to get the one barrel, get the one base, buy them separately. And yeah, so I figured the 1.5 is great. All of the other ones are just too... They just always looked too narrow to me, and 1.5 is actually not that easy to find. I thought, you know, why not? And this is really pretty. It's white with rose gold. Um, so, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Like, have you guys ever seen me curl my hair? Maybe like twice. <laughs> so anyway, I have it if I want it now. So 
my mother loves the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I'm chuckling because I picked up three of them for her because she goes through these like water. I feel like every time I tell her I'm stopping by Sephora or Ulta and I say, you know, do you need anything? Do you want me to pick you up anything? She, she's always like, can you get me a brow definer? I'm like, I just got you one like last week. But anyway, she goes through these like crazy. So I picked up three of them for her. Hopefully this will tie her over for like, I don't know, a month probably. Oh, and then this is like a little bit of a re-up for me. So I'm a big, big fan of the Juno, uh, the Sunday Riley Juno oil. And I have the one ounce bottle currently. And it's just taken me forever to get through. And I use it like almost every day. I want to say I use it probably, no, I use it like every day. I don't use it morning and night every day but sometimes I do. Anyway, um, it's just taking me forever to get through it. So I decided just to go ahead and get the um, half ounce bottle. So this is the oil. The bottle looks like it goes from like pink to yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I love this. This is the oil that is good for sensitive skin. There are no essential oils in here. The new Marc Jacobs like coconut collection came out for summer 18 and I really was excited for the dew drops. So here are the dew drops. I also picked up the eyeshadow palette, which I wasn't sure if I was going to pick up, but I got I got sucked in by the sale. And then I also decided to pick up the setting powder, and now I'm realizing I have a lot of setting powder to play with and to test. So let's just open up this setting powder. So here is this setting powder, typical kind of Marc Jacobs packaging. I like his summer packaging with the white. This looks um, considerably smaller, but packaging can be very deceptive. So this has, the Hourglass has 0.36 ounces, the Marc Jacobs has 0.28 ounces. I mean, not, not a ton off, but there is less in the Marc Jacobs. And, well, it also, the sifter is also covered. But I'm just, I'm dying to know if it smells like coconut. We will see, but expect a review on this uh, loose powder. And then let's take a look at the eyeshadow palette. Here is the box. The palette is called Fantasine. Comes in white packaging. I think this could be the first time he's used white packaging for the eyeshadows. I think usually they're black. And then for the holiday, the big ones, the 20 pan ones, there's been like gold and I think there was like zebra print. But I think this is the first time that he's actually done white. So that's pretty exciting. And then there's like rose gold finished hardware and his name is Rose Gold also. So let's take a look inside. Very, very nice. And this reminds me of one of his current ones. His current ones probably has a little bit more brown and neutral shades in there. This one is probably a little bit more of like an overall pink, but it does remind me of one. But a lot of pink palettes are coming out. I don't know if you guys saw Laura Lee's Nudie Patootie, I think is what it's called. That one has like a very pink tone to it. So I guess pink eyeshadow palettes are the rage now. Uh, let's just swatch a few of these. I'm gonna swatch a matte, ooh, soft, a shimmer, and this glittery one. So those are three of the shades. Wow, look at that copper shade. Holy smokes, that is very, very metallic. So I definitely want to do like a look with this as well. So another one, keep an eye out for that video as well. And then we have the dew drops. So this is the liquid highlighter. Uh, this is in color fantasy. Yeah. And last year's color was do you question mark. So let's see what this one looks like. I bet this one is darker. So here is the packaging, really pretty white rose gold finish again, frosted glass bottle. I think it's glass. Very, very pretty. So here is last year's. Uh, let's just compare them in the bottle. Right off the bat, you can see that this year's is uh, deeper. It's a little bit pinkier. This year's has the same scent as last year's. It has a little bit of that coconut, kind of like suntan lotion scent. So here is last year's. And there it is next to this year's. 
much, much lighter. This year's is much darker, much bronzier. And then I picked up some Tom Ford stuff, of course. I can't resist. So one of these things is new. This is uh, one of the lip lacquers. I got the Liquid Patent Lip Lacquer in Ravageur. And I, this is, I think, my favorite. Well, I like the patent and I like the metallic lip lacquers. I don't really like the matte. They're too matte for me. But this color is so pretty, like so, so pretty. That's what the tube looks like. There is the wand and there is the color. I think it's a little bit darker in real life, but it's a lot warmer than it looks in the bottle or even any of the swatches that I saw online. But I went in store and actually looked at this and I thought, oh, I really like that red. It's really, really warm. There's a little bit of orange in there. So I decided to pick it up at the sale. And then I picked up some old Tom Ford stuff. None of this stuff is actually new, but it's just stuff that I've always wanted. It's like been sitting in my cart forever. And I thought, oh, just get it. <laughs> just get it. So this first one is the Eye Color Quad in Golden Mink. I feel like I'm going on this like crazy um, eyeshadow quad kick lately. And it comes with the, the plastic lid and brushes. I just took them out. But there is Golden Mink. Let's swatch these. So that is Golden Mink. Those colors look so nice. Look at that topper. It's like a coppery color. That'll look really good with the dew drops. <laughs> and then I picked up another quad that I had been eyeing. This is in Seductive Rose. And I guess those pink palettes, they just have been catching my eyes lately. So this one, ooh, this, this one's very pretty too. There's Seductive Rose. Looks like there's two topper shades up here and over here. And then the other two look like either matte or demi-matte kind of satin finish colors. But let's swatch these. So there is Seductive Rose. Look how pretty that pink is. I'm spoiled. And then last but not least, I picked up a Tom Ford lip gloss. This is in Love Bruise. This is another one that I've been wanting. I love his lip glosses. I have Pink Guilt and Naked. And I just love the formula, love the packaging. Um, here is the lip gloss in Love Bruise. So that's it. That's all for my Sephora VIB sale haul part two. Uh, definitely keep an eye out for a review on the Marc Jacobs stuff, the loose powder, the uh, liquid highlighter, and the seven pan eyeshadow palette. And also keep an eye out for a review on the Hourglass loose setting powder, the Veil translucent setting powder. I definitely want to do um, a wear test for this. And yeah, and who knows? Maybe the next time you see me, I'll have wavy hair. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.